Yeah. 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 Um, but over the years it's had many uses, um, downstairs for instance, from the air and shelves at the morgue. Um, we've had many famous bands here, Beatles, the Stones, the Who, um, Tom Cooper, you name it. So it's got a fair bit of history. Yeah. So you've had some experiences here then? Uh, yeah, I've uh, been fortunate enough to invest at this place since 2008. Mm -hmm. um, the, the experiences that I've had there So where you've got us to now? Okay, we're actually down the subway now. Uh, this is one of the small rooms off the subway area. I'm not sure it's original purpose, but at the moment it's just used as a bit of a story. Uh, okay. Uh, there's been some activity down here? Yeah, this is one of their more active rooms. In that corner there especially, we get a lot of reports of shadows and figures being seen there. Mm -hmm. um, the, we have two men who chase each other in there, and some kind of argument goes on between them. Right. We're not quite sure what the argument's about or, or anything like that. And we also believe that it was used for like, illegal gambling, gambling purposes as well. Okay. Um, on other investigations, we've had a lot of activity with regards to tables, even by glasses thrown off the, the table. People have had physical things happen to them as well. Mm -hmm. Cool, Sam. Uh, I believe that there's another location down here that you want to show us. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. cool. Uh, so we just took a short walk and we've come to this uh, this different looking structure of a room. So what exactly is, is this room for? Okay. Uh, not its original purpose, but its purpose during the war was an air ride shelter. You can see just by looking around all the reinforced concrete, mainly an ideal shelter. Public shelter, um, you know that the uh, general public shelter in the area, as well as uh, American air crews from the base that was over the road. Um, you know the interrogations and uh, air also had some place down here as well. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, so where to next? Well, we'll take you to the war because it's nice. Right. Cool. Right, so you've got us to tell the mark. So what activity goes off down here? Again, the activity in here varies. Um, we do have presence of a male in here. Right. Who, from descriptions that we've been given by various mediums that have visited here, his appearance is really scruffy. Mm -hmm. um, it's believed that he was linked to some form of, of secrecy. Some form of secrecy. Um, he doesn't want people coming in this room particularly. Uh, we've had Full apparition scene here where figures have appeared in front of people. Um, the back part, we've had a lot of people hearing voices over there. Mm. Um, things have been thrown from over there as well. So yeah. it's Hopefully, something happens on the night. I believe there's just one more bit down here for the shot shows. Yeah. If you want to lead the way. Right, so where are we, are we now? Okay, this is just a part of the subway system, just in a small store as you said, it's and that store at the moment, isn't it? It's, uh, it's all connected to the main bit of the subway. Yeah, so there's something about the fire training service, there's something about what's been down here during the training sessions and they got a bit spooked. Um, when we've had fire training out here, what they do is they, they turn all the lights up so it's pitch black and fill it with smoke. Mm -hmm. So the new trainees have got an ideal situation to train in. And we get a lot of reports from them that they say that they've heard or seen children down here. Oh, okay. And obviously because it's a public building, children yeah. wouldn't be allowed. And these firemen won't come back to, to do these training sessions? Yeah. We, we have some people that refuse to come back in. They're things that they've experienced. But it, it, is, it is mainly children. Yeah, of course. Well, yeah. hopefully we can capture some, some evidence of this. There's a lot of contractors at the moment that won't come in there. Uh, yeah. We've got a list of contractors who won't come and work there. Oh, okay. uh, one of the interesting stories was in, in this exact spot, one of the contractors was cutting a length of pipe. He was working on his own, 
stop sawing blocks up through that little square window, saw a little boy looking at him and refused to come back. God, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. This is the uh, small door subway, which is a, a larger extension to the main subway. This was actually built in 1967. So is there some activity for what happens there? Yeah, this is one of the, uh, again, a quite active area of the building. Mm -hmm. um, one of the spirits that we, we know is here is a gentleman. Right. It's believed to be a Dutch spy who was working okay. with the Germans. Okay. So we've been able to find out through various mediums and senators. <laughs> um, not a particularly nice person. On previous investigations, we've had people where they've physically been punched by him in the stomach. Um, it's literally where people have heard somebody run and then somebody's gone straight over. Very intriguing. Um, a very interesting bit of phenomena that I personally saw was if you put the corridor there in the pitch black, no one was up there, we saw one blue foot coming towards us. Cool. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty odd. So, because of what you do through day, do you have staff who actually experience things? Yeah, we do, yeah. Um, it has become a bit of a norm mm. to staff, right. especially with the children. Quite a few yeah. like staff see uh, girls running around. Right. There is a prominent little spirit that runs around called Emma, and she's about right. her age, age right. and she does show herself quite a bit right. to um, to people, and has got a, a kind of association with the girls that come down here. Nice. Doesn't mean that they're not free to take by it, but they right. are kind of used oh, to yeah. it now. We'll be pretty freak, yeah. So, where do you want to take us next? Okay, we'll have a look in the sauna if you like. Yeah, that's fine, cool. Right, so where have you brought us to now? Okay, this is the uh, sauna suite. Okay, so uh, what goes off here? Okay, uh, perhaps one of the oldest stories that we got about the building was uh, many years ago, probably about 20 years now, uh, we had a, a ladies only morning. Uh, there was a lady sitting on one of the lounges all by herself, reading a magazine, a little bit bored, nobody else had been in all day. Uh, and then she saw another lady walk in with a, an orange towel around her, walked straight past her. The lady said, good morning, no reply. Mm. The lady walked straight into the sauna, sat down. So the lady thought, right, I've got somebody to have a chat with you now. So she got up, walked in the sauna, and when she got in there, there was nobody there. Pretty thing. Pretty cool, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But the, the interesting fact was the fact that she wore an orange towel. Mm. Um, and 20 years prior to that, orange towels were part of the uh, the higher towel system that they used to be here, so they used to give all sorts of customers the orange towel. Cool, yeah. So whether that ties in or not, who knows? Oh, cool, yeah. So if you had hot spots, cold spots and stuff like that, I know it's generally warm in here, but you know, have people experienced anything in that? in that nature? Sometimes in the toilet area mm -hmm. it is particularly cold for some right. reasons and the other times it is like a quite a normal heat so. Right, cool. Which would you say is the most active place? I'd say downstairs. Yeah, downstairs. Yeah. I, believe, uh, I believe there's one more bit is the upstairs balcony. Yeah. 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 Cool. This is the uh, main hall balcony. Right, cool. So is there activity on one pier? Yeah, yeah we've, um, when we lock up on the building sometimes um, you can hear kids running around and you lock the door up and I've locked somebody out, yeah. come back up, it's now three days. It's interesting. We've got the chair over there that um, refuses to stay in the upright position. Right. And uh, people have sat on it and actually got burn marks on their arms. Alright, that's from Dave. That's pretty that's strange, isn't it? It's weird. Building, 
and you have one of them radiators there. Now I'm just, just point to that, them radiators are there. So, they okay. belong somewhere in the building. So, if, but when we get to that room... Yeah, oh no, it's, like, it's still in the head now. No, because you've actually yeah. seen that in your mind now. <coughs> just for argument's sake, we could just be saying that, but you were actually with us when we spent some time in our own and you heard what we were discussing, so nothing really significant at the moment, we just know that they're the radiators that you saw, and obviously they are here in yeah. the building somewhere, so <coughs> if it wasn't here that I would draw to, it's actually on the side of that wall. I was still there, corridor. Be a door there, then the, one of them radiators, then another door, and it, what I've seen gone into that other door, not the first one, the second one, but there's a radiator. One of, one of them radiators in between the two doors. Well, you said you'll know it when we get to it. Mm. Okay. So, those radiators were upstairs in an area. Which side of the building? This side. Which is the other outside. side that where we were, from where we were? It's more or less above us right now. So from right hand side of the building, yeah. that's where I got shown then too. Yeah. So I'm not coming here because I'm particularly drawn in here, I'm coming here just because I know you more than what's in here. But as I've come in, I've got like a, a pain in my shoulder, like a heaviness, it's like a, a slightly heavier, it's not like really oppressive, but I do feel like there's a heavier atmosphere in here. I'm sorry. Yeah, I've got heaviness on my shoulder. Um, I do feel like it's a bit heavier in here, like the, the air's thicker. Well, just for the record, although I'm laughing and saying I don't want to say what I'm picking up on here on at, the, at the moment because there is one particular thing that I know about the place that one of the other investigators lets slip on the way down here, but I started laughing before I saw those pictures. I laughed as we were coming through that doorway already and thought, right, okay, yeah, this, I know what this 